it's Victing and Gamer here, and this is the commentary version of 4.2 Spiral Abyss. So yeah, it is what the title says. It's literally just me commentating over my Spiral Abyss run. So, um, in the commentary videos, I usually talk about the teams I use as well as tips and strategies, um, and also to go further in depth into this floor, and also all the chambers on those floors. So yeah. Well, here's the team I used right here for Floor 11. So on first half, I used Ayaka Freeze. Still one of the best teams to this day. I just replaced Kazuha with Venti. Um, you'll see in a moment here in this monolith floor um, why I use Venti. But um, on the second half, I used Raiden Hyper Bloom. You already know how good Hyper Bloom is. It's one of the best teams in the entire game. So yeah, had to run Hyper Bloom. But yeah, this is why I use Venti here on first half, it's because of this um, chamber. This chamber is a monolith chamber, and there's a lot of enemies on a monolith chamber. So a crowd controller like Venti or Kazuha will work really well here, but since Venti is the best crowd controller in the game, um, I use Venti instead. But yeah, um, on the first half of floor 11, we have just pyro enemies. So we have crabs, we have bopper flowers, and we have Pyro Slimes. You want to run Hydro since it is the Leyline Disorders buff on first half. And also there is a Lector on the Chamber um, 2. Two Lectors, by the way, on Chamber 2. So you want to run a Hydro character on first half. That is why I ran Kokomi here um, on the Ayaka Freeze team. So yeah. Um, ring a Hydro character just to deal with um, these Pyro enemies. And you should be fine um, since it is a Monolith Chamber. Um, you can just uh, use a lot of the time. You have a lot of time on Monolith Chambers because the only limit that you have is the Monolith HP. There is no time limit. So you can take your time on beating this um, chamber. So yeah. But the second half is just Ruined Scouts, Ruined Destroyers, and Ruined Greater. So yeah, these are the three um, enemies that you fight. So you have to fight three of those robots and then the Ruin Grader will spawn here which will target you instead of the monolith. So yeah, um, you want that him to face away from the monolith and not do damage to it. So yeah, well there you go. There is the uh, first chamber. It is a monolith chamber. You know how those go um, if you do play Spiral Abyss for a long time. You just have to protect it and not have it under 60% HP. So yeah. And here's the second chamber. Remember when I said to bring Hydro characters? This is literally it. This is the two Lector floor um, right here is chamber two. So yeah, um, I ran Ayaka Freeze Team because it's just way too good. I mean, look at that. There, there's already the Lector's health gone. And now I have to use Kokomi to basically get rid of their shields. It is the best to gather them up instead of um, dealing with them separately because, well, you could complete the floor faster if you have them um, together instead of separate. It means that you could take down, down their shields a bit faster. But um, yeah, the Lectors, they're really annoying as always. You just want to bring Hydro characters to take down their shields. Preferably um, Hydro characters that can deal AoE damage like Kokomi is really good on Lectors. She also has on-command um, Hydro damage because she's a Catalyst. So that also works on her favor too. But yeah. Um, usually with, uh, Abyss Selectors and Abyss Heralds and all that other, um, Abyss, um, bad guys, you want to run characters to correspond with their elemental shields. So yeah, um, Kokomi is just perfect for this since she is a catalyst and she could take down those pyro shields. So yeah. As for the second half, you have three primal constructs and then you have a Aramite. A stone enchanter aramite so yeah these are really easy to deal with um electros also the leyline disorder as well so you want to run electro on second half for those robot enemies so yeah the uh primal constructs so yeah you want to run electro for them because they still have the invisible mechanic and they could pull it out um like at a certain number of um time passes so yeah you want to bring electro on the second half just in case and here is uh, Floor 11, Chamber 3. Um, we have two operatives to deal with. Yes, two operatives. Um, you can run crowd controllers to group them up and then deal big damage. 
You can also run any other DPS team in the world that will basically get the job done. They're just two really tanky operatives. That's all you need to know. Um, there's no hidden mechanics behind them other than they just do big damage and they love to teleport around. So think of it as the Mirage Mage or a Sinsen Mage. Um, they're literally the same thing. Um, but this is a Animo operative and the other is a Cryo operative. So yeah, um, just keep that in mind. Just burst them down as soon as possible um, since you are on a time limit of 3 minutes. So uh, yeah, burst them down as soon as possible and get on with the next chamber. But yeah, that's basically it. That's all I need to talk about for the operatives. They're just um, really tanky on this chamber specifically. Um, yeah, as you see there, it took me a while to burst them down around the minute as you'll see here. Um, to even get to the uh, second half of... Um, 411 chamber 3 but yeah that's basically it that's all you need to know so on the second half you have two vish haps vish haps are really easy to deal with as you they get stunned a lot if you use elemental skills and verse and whatnot but uh yeah um this is a really quick um chamber right here because hyper bloom is just way too good dominance hyper bloom dominance as you see there there's one and then the second one's about to die right here there is two, and there we go. That's basically it. <laughs> that is 411. Now it is time to go over 412. So let's just cut to that. So here we are in floor 12. Oh boy, this floor. Um, it's not actually that bad. <laughs> uh, even though I did sound pretty exhausted, it's not that bad. It's just exhausting for me because, well, I don't have Nouvellet, so this is not a walk in the park for me. But, um, yeah. Um... For this floor, I ran Hotel Double Hydro on first half, um, just so I could burst down a lot of the um, floors really fast, or the chambers really fast. And then for second half, I ran Hyper Bloom because you already know how good Hyper Bloom is. It is a really, really good team. But yeah, here in Chamber 1 first half, here is your lineup, your all-star lineup. Two Rift Hounds, two Pyro Abyss Mages, two Large Overgrown Breacher Primus, one Abyss Lecter, and one Samatrol. So yeah, those are your uh, enemies you have to deal with. You already know how annoying Rift Hounds are, they drain your HP. But if you're running a HP drain team, it doesn't matter. Because, well, you get buffs for it. <laughs> which is really, really good. Um, yeah, Rift Hounds can actually buff you. But since I am not running Nouvellet, or Risley, or Linny, um, the Fontaine drain team, I have to run Hu Tao instead. So yeah, um... Hu Tao is only good on the first um, phase of Abyss Lectors. On second phase, she's useless because she is a Pyro character. Pyro doesn't deal damage to Pyro shields. Only Hydro does. Cryo, Electro, any other element that basically deals with those shields. But Hu Tao is basically useless on a Lector that has a Pyro shield up. So yeah. Hu Tao is only there to burst down all other enemies except Lectors. So yeah. Um, she still pulled her own weight on this um, chamber anyway. But yeah. Um, mainly the strategy for the first half is to burst down a lot, as much as you can. Also bring the Hydro characters as well to deal with the two um, Abyss Mages. The Abyss Mages have Pyro Shields, so you want to bring Hydro to counteract their shields. But yeah, you have to deal with three shield enemies in this um, chamber. Um, technically five because of the um, Dendro Orbs. But um, if you bring the necessary teams, if you bring a really, really good DPS team with Hydro, and then it'll be fine. Um, just have to deal with them as fast as possible so you can get onto this second half, which is, well, the big robot that you fight in Samaru. Yes, the, well, if I could pronounce his name, the Algorithm of semi instrument Matrix of Overseer Network. Yeah, that's the, basically the thing you have to fight. But... It's just like in Sumeru, you have to um, basically make it vulnerable. So on the uh, first time you fight it, it goes invisible. You need to bring an Electro character or do a click and reaction to basically not make it invisible anymore. But um, that's basically it. You can also attack the, um, the things it spawns, its appendages, um, to basically uh, speed up the process to um, basically... Uh, get it exposed. As you see there, I'm about to do a click and reaction right here. Yeah, there you go. 
that basically uh, gets rid of that phase and then you can just deal um, the damage necessary to take care of this thing. So yeah, you want to bring Electro, you want to bring um, Dendro Quicken if you want to get rid of their phases faster. But yeah, that's basically it for the second half. Just bring Electro and you should be fine. And also have a really good uh, DPS team, of course. Here is the second half. Oh boy, or not the second half, but Chamber 2. Um, Chamber 2 first half. So you have to deal with a lot of robot enemies, yes. So you have the mechs, you have the specialist mechs, um, you have the uh, recon mechs, and you have those wheelie boys. So yeah, um, that is a lot of enemies to deal with. So uh, you want to make quick work as soon as possible so you can get to the second half of Chamber 2. But it's just a bunch of robots. You can run Usia and Numa reactions to um, basically deal with these um, enemies as fast as possible. But um, you don't necessarily need it as you see here. I mean, I don't use it. <laughs> so yeah, um, Hutal just makes quick work of the um, teams anyway. And besides, these are Usia um, robots. They're not Numa. So yeah, um, my Farina is mostly on Usia for most of the run. Actually, no, she is permanently on Usia because she is a sub DPS um, and I built her that way. So yeah, um, but once you take care of the small robots, the two um, specialists will pop up. The, basically the um, Annihilation and the Assault Specialist. Then after those, you have to deal with the big mech boys. So yeah, the construction one, basically those big uh, mech boys. They um, target you, um, by the way, a lot. So they basically follow you. So you don't have to attack them per se. You can just attack the um, the small fry. And then that basically um, will deal damage over time since you are dealing like AoE damage against it. So yeah. And here is the uh, second half of Chamber 2. This is the Jade Plume Terror Shroom. This is a really easy enemy since... Basically, you have to deal with them for most of the uh, game anyway. So yeah, uh, J Plum Terror Shroom, not that bad. Just bring Electro or Pyro and you should be fine. Mainly Electro since um, once it's done with its Frenzy attack, um, once it uh, is in the Frenzy state, um, it basically becomes vulnerable and you get to wail on it and deal massive damage. As you see there, there's already like almost his whole HP bar gone because of his Frenzy mode. So he's going to go his fr Frenzy mode right here, again as well. He's going to do the same attack where he just charges. He has different attacks depending on what Frenzy um, attack that he does, but usually it goes like this. So yeah, um, he does a big attack, and then he gets himself vulnerable because he used way too much energy. But yeah, um, that's basically it. That's the main strategy. You can use Pyro or Electro, but mainly Electro since, well, you have to deal with the robot anyway. So yeah. And here is chamber 3. The hardest chamber. Um, in this uh, Spiral Abyss. So on the first half. You have two lectors. Yes two lectors count them. As well as two pyro Fatui agents. And two Kiragis. Yes you have the dancing thunder. And then the fiery might one. So yeah. You have to deal with the uh, these four enemies before you have to deal with the two lectors. So, yeah. Um, deal with the Pyro Patui agents first, since they have shields. If you deal with them faster, you don't have to deal with them ever. And um, the Samurai don't have shields, so deal with them last, um, basically. Once you defeat them, um, right here, you have to fight the two lectors. They are spread out! They are really, really spread out. So you might have to bring a animal crowd controller if you want to deal with them at the same time. But I chose the other path, which is dealing them one at a time, which is a really, really slow process. But um, it could be done. Um, I did get the three star clear on this abyss after all. But um, this is another method that I used to um, basically defeat this uh, first half is to deal with them one at a time since um, well Hutel does a lot of damage and it's kind of quick and um, you also have, you just have to do normal attacks since uh, well Chengcho and Farina right here 
just um, have to deal their hydro damage, and that's basically it. But um, it's mainly ideal to gather them up, but dealing with them one at a time is also a viable strategy too, as long as your um, second half team is powerful enough to beat the uh, boss that is going to come up in one minute, which I am pretty confident on because it's a Hyper Bloom team. So yeah, Hyper Bloom teams are really, really good. But yeah, there is um, the first half right there. Just the only problem is the two lectors. So you just have to deal with them. And here is the final part of this abyss, Chamber 3, second half. And you have to deal with Icewind Sweet Dirge of Coppelia. Yes, this is the Coppelia version of this boss, meaning that it does not have a cryo shield. It only does animal damage. So you could just deal as lot of damage as you can. You can run Usia reactions um, to basically um, stun them. You have to do it three times, by the way. But um, you could stun them um, if you use Usia reactions. But I did not have any of that because there's no Fontaine characters on this team. So I basically just wailed on this thing. Which is a viable strategy too. Because look at that. It's already almost gone. Their health is almost gone. But yeah, that's basically it. There's nothing more to be said. I mean, just make quick work and kill them. That's basically it. So yeah, there is Spiral Abyss. Floor 12 and Floor 11 on version 4.2. So yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed this commentary video, make sure to leave a like down below. It is greatly appreciated if you do support the series. Um, it makes me make more videos on the channel. So yeah, and also if you do enjoy all my content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe, turn on the notification bell to not miss out on a single Genshin upload. My upload schedule is inconsistent, but I always upload once a week, so turn on the notification bell will basically tell you if my uploads are up or not. So yeah. And also, comment down below, what do you think of this Spiral Abyss? You think it's easy? You think it's hard? You think uh, my commentary is good enough? Or um, you think that it should be improved? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, any amount of feedback is greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you guys for watching this commentary Spiral Abyss video, and I'll see you guys in the next Genshin video.